when I when I walk home just a little How's it going? Good. How are you? Oh, good. Hey, I'm talking on a new um, phone that I've rebuilt. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's a North Electric uh, 1902, roughly 1904 model woodwall telephone. Very good. And um, Did you say North Electric? Yeah. No, it's not Northern. Yeah. People oh, get that okay. mixed up all the time. Northern Electric was up in Canada. And yeah. Uh, North Electric was founded in Cleveland by George Drumheller and Charles North. They were both linemen for the Cleveland Telephone Company. That later became Ohio Bell. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to call you back in a little bit here. Okay. And But I sound good to you, right? Yeah, you sound okay. good. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Well, thank you for watching another edition of Telco Steve's Workbench. Yes, we actually got more than one video in during the year of 2021, which is kind of cool. Today, we have for you a Woodwall telephone. It's uh, another one. It's a cathedral top with a picture frame front on it. That's how they they call them. And it's an oak wall te wood wall telephone. And uh, isn't it a beautiful phone? Oh, look at it. It's just fantastic. It's been completely torn apart as usual. It's had, as you can see from the picture, all the cooties, all the bugs, all the viruses, all the snot, all the crap, all the grunt, all the this, all the that, completely cleaned out of it, okay? I don't want to have to work on some of those bunch of dust and God knows what climbing up my nose from 1930. So I completely clean all of this stuff right down to the screw. This phone, as you've just seen, works really great. This phone from 1902-1904 time frame even had a circuit design schematic in it. But it was posted with two nails on the back side uh, right on the the board in the back behind where the normal uh, local batteries would sit, the dry cell batteries would sit. So we put it up uh, on the front. And I think you see a picture right now. There's the serial number. And the serial number looks... I kind of was thinking that it was relating to the year. But um, you might experience something different if you uh, have a West a, a, excuse me, a North Electric um, Woodwall telephone. So, this phone, North Electric phone, from the years approximately manufactured, approximately in the year 1902, 1901, 1902 through 1906, somewhere or other because it's got the outside posts as you see on the picture. The receiver, what a bummer. We got it, it was glued, the cap was glued to, to the receiver shell. Had to unscrew it, couldn't do it, soaked it in, I believe it was um, 
liquid wrench, I think it was, and uh, let it sit overnight, and then got on it and had to, <coughs> and it came off finally. But even though it doesn't look like it, the threads on the receiver shell, they didn't look damaged, but now the receiver cap, which is this, it screws onto the shell. The receiver cap would not screw onto the shell. And what a disappointment that was. The inside of the transmitter for you folks that are going to do a North Electric with the scroll work uh, that says North Electric on the front, the unit inside, it had to be milled out or whatever machined out, um, which I wasn't looking forward to that, but it did. But when the phone showed up, it had no parts in it. It had uh, absolutely nothing in it. It didn't have a magneto. The switch hook was missing the contacts. Had to get a new switch hook. Had to get a new magneto. Got a magneto. <laughs> the shell is bad now. Got a new magneto, and uh, th this was the old one that didn't work. And uh, refurbished that one. And so now, don't you love it? Works great. Um, thank you, Mary from Funko, by the way. Uh, everyone, if you want to buy like a designer phone or like Mickey Mouse phone or something like that that you used to have when you were a kid, and you feel I can't find that anywhere, give them a call or look them up. They're Funko Incorporated, and uh, no, I'm sorry, FunkoInc.com. And uh, they've got all kinds of foam parts and that sort of thing. So thank you, Mary, for running that five-bar Magneto, North Electric Magneto down for me. Appreciate it. Really do. Uh, <laughs> isn't it nice that there are some people in this world that still care? <laughs> you know, sometimes it makes you wonder. You watch the news and it makes you wonder, wow, what in the world is going on lately? So... The transmitter arm was powder coated, stripped, bead blasted, and powder coated, painted the original black color. Everything was redone. But you know what? I rebuilt the phone for a gentleman that sent it to me and he trusted me to actually get everything correct. And um, I did. Um, and the entire time, his name is Derek, and Derek, I want to tell you, there was just something about this phone. And not bad. It was, I mean good. Derek's grandmother gave this phone to him. And I had to honor that. I, I loved my grandmother. And it just really seemed like from when he was emailing me that he had a true love for his grandmother. Well, she gave him this phone. That was his inheritance. And I wasn't going to stop until I got everything absolutely right. Not only for Derek, but for his grandmother. So, I want to thank you for watching another edition of Telco Steve's Workbench. And remember, we live in a crazy world, like I said. So just go ahead. If you tell your person that you love, that you love them, tell them again. Keep telling them. And like I keep saying, you never know, tomorrow might be too late. And unfortunately, sometimes some people find that out, which is just sad. So please, do yourself a favor. Grab the people you love and tell them that you love them. Well, thank you for watching another edition of Toko Steve's Workbench, and we'll see you again next time. And next time, I don't know, it's going to be a wall phone, but it's going to be a different one, a different manufacturer. The mystery is on. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on Tuckle Steve's Workbench, and please subscribe. Bye.